Well guys, it's your old man's birthday and you know, in front of me, you can't see it yet, but in front of me is a celebration of being old. Because what is in front of me is actually pretty old too. And uh, it's really cool. You guys know, I'm not just into cars, I'm not just into bikes, I'm not just into tractors, I'm not just into RC planes, I'm not just into guns, I'm not just into every single thing in the world. I am into boats. So this is a really special boat. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. here is a 19 no, no wait before I say the year okay so for those of you who are not super boat savvy I want to tell you a little story it's a quick story it's not a quick story I'm gonna make it quick so in the 80s in Miami there was a lot of high performance boating going on in the Bahamas Cuba back and forth and they were bringing uh, illicit substances to the country and they needed to get past customs and get past law enforcement, border patrol and all that. So they used boats that were specifically made to go really fast over big water. One of the guys that founded power boating, we're going to say, down here in South Florida, was a man named Don Arenal. And Don Arenal brought with him the cigarette boat, the formula boat. Anyway, he did a few different companies. You can look them up and see. And in those, those kind of Donzi in those companies, he started basically building fast boats. So this company is called Apache. This company was actually founded by Bob Sassenti, who was a friend of Don Arenal, and they were building, it's a, such a good story. Guys, I'm telling you, you gotta go look this stuff up. I'm missing a lot of details. Basically, the, uh, the drug runners were paying these guys to build boats, and then the US government was paying these guys to build boats to catch the drug runners. And they didn't know that they were building the drug runner boats. It's a huge, crazy story. There's murder, there's mystery, there's there's money, there's, there's drugs, there's everything in this story. So go check it out, really cool story. Um, but anyway, this is an Apache, 1987. So this is the year Don Arenal was murdered. This is an Apache Scout. This is the small version, this is the, what we call the little one. There was a huge, big one that was called the Warpath. And I thought, we thought it was such a cool name. So Carla came up with a good name for this boat and we call it the Warp Pony. Because the Apache Indians, they used to ride ponies. They didn't ride big horses. And you know, we're into horses. So this is a 1987 Apache Scout War Pony. A really, really fantastic historic boat from the 80s. Lots of cool stuff happening here. It's old school. It's it's old. It's just it's just awesome. I'm in awe with this boat. I love it. This is essentially a 22 foot power boat, a speed boat, uh, and they built these boats to go fast. Again, they were built to go over big waves, big water, go out on the ocean, tackle whatever you can handle. And uh, this is a smaller one. You know, your old man doesn't have a huge huge garage to put a 40 foot boat so we'll go with this one it's 22 feet but there are some really cool features on this so i'm going to show you back here at the business end of the boat you can see we got our through hole exhaust coming right out of the transom here right off the top and that's straight through and we got a bravo one drive so a really nice uh drive that can handle quite a bit of power you can see we got the mirage pop prop on it everything so um one thing about the smaller boats that's really cool is you don't need like a huge engine you know you can actually get some good performance out of a out of a you know 
little, little small, small motor. Mercruiser does the six cylinder, and if you want to get that that big boy V8, you can get that 350. So you don't really need, you know, a huge, huge motor. But it doesn't hurt. Boom! Check this out, guys. That's not a small motor. That is a Chevy big block. And uh, this is a good, this is a Gen 6 big block. So we've got a roller cam. It's a full roller motor. We've got a nice big cam in it. we got some higher compression pistons. We've got everything we need for speed. And uh, I, I think it's enough. It's just enough motor for this bad boy. So uh, we're looking right around 500 horsepower uh, and torque out the ass, of course, because Chevy big block, you just can't get, can't get around it. They just make a ton of torque. So uh, I'm going to start it up for you guys now. We're going to run it on the hose. We're going to go to the water one of these days. The weather's not been cooperating. Today's a little bit okay, but you can see we got rain. I don't want to get stuck out in the rain just in case. But, um, I mean, it should be totally fine. But let's go ahead and at least let you hear what it sounds like on the hose because it's impressive. Get your volume ready on this one.